Now, am I going to show you how to take this whole shelf down? No, I don't think I am. You know, some things you're going to have to figure out on your own. It's very simple. But here's, here's one little tidbit I can offer. Sometimes you may get some little brackets like this. And, you know, if, if you hit a stud, fine, you can just take the screw out. But this is, is a different type of plastic anchor. And um, they put it in after the fact. You unscrew it only so far, and then you kind of wiggle it and, and pull this out. Okay, that's all there is to it. And then this swivels down, and let's just see. You see that? That swivels down like that, and it just comes right off. And when you put this back together, it's the same thing. Put, you got to put this end up first, fit it up over that edge, lift it up against the wall. Kaboom! See, that one's going to fit right there. That's the only, that's my only shelf bracket when I get done with this. And that means I'm going to have one extra bracket. And you see, this thing swivels straight up, straight up out of here, like that. And I'll have to figure out how to get these clips out of here. And I believe, I believe all I have to do is, yeah, just prop that open like that with the screwdriver. And that's all I'm going to do all the way along that edge is, is take that off. And I've noticed some of these little brackets are even loose. See there? Yeah, that's loose. And... Man, I told you I wasn't going to show you this. You never know what Joe's going to show. <laughs> okay, I'll get this. I'll get this out of here in just a minute. I'll push that up like that, and let's see. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get this out of here. See, it's it's just going to kind of push up like that. See there. Simple. Simon says. Take the shelf down, and it's down, just like that. And so see, before I put it back up there, I'll remeasure it and everything, and I'll and I'll go along. I'll probably go along and make sure these are these are tight, and check it out a little bit and stuff. Here, there's one. There's one right here. See that one's all loose. And I'll look at that kind of stuff. Take this one off of here because I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna save this one for later. And I may have to just see how this comes off. Cause see that's those that's those funky little brackets on the back side again so I'm gonna have to I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that just yet I might just I'm not cutting it I'm just loosening up the screw you know from the from the bracket because it's one that really doesn't have threads per se on it on the front part of it See? then I can I can probably get it. I'll just have to. I'll just have to mess with it. Maybe I can take my pliers and pull on it or something before I get too rambunctious with it. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't want to pop the plastic anchor off on the back side or anything. And there it is. Okay, see this one here are these little funky anchors. And in fact, sometimes these don't necessarily have any threads on them. You put it in there and you tap it in with the hammer and then this goes thoink sideways, you know, after it's in. Then it comes out like that as you push, push that in. But then to take them back out, that's kind of how you have to do it. It looks like they're sort of threads, but there's really not threads. It's just little nibs. So when you push it down, it stays tight. Okay. So I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to decide, 
you know what to do with those holes and more, more than likely what I end up doing is taking uh, my cock gun and filling up these and I'll measure back and then I'll have to pull these off I'll have to pull these out of there it looks like looks like these are the same you know I'll have to do it this I'll have to do it the same way once I pull that out just a little bit then it'll get, get the bracket kind of pushed in so then I can pull it out okay so I don't I don't want to get too rambunctious I'm going to put the I'm going to get the cabinet and in fact it was it was 2 feet wide remember so it's going to come from about here that way so I know for a fact that I'm going to have to take these three out of here. Ah. I'm just using my dikes, my cutters, to get on the back side of that screw because there's really no thread on them. And yours might be different, they're not all the same. Okay? Uh, even though it has a place for a screwdriver, you know, you'll, you'll screw it, unscrew it, and unscrew it, and unscrew it. See there? There's no threads on it, is there? It's just a nail. And not all of them are like that, but some different manufacturers, that's, that's just how they do it. You see how that one is? You pop a hole in there, and that's like that. Once you put once you put the nail in there, then that spreads that out back behind the sheetrock. And that's how you do that. Okay, I'll pull those two off. Enough of that. I'll get onto the cabinet and start building that sucker. You know, even though my cabinet's going to cover these holes, I'm going to put some caulking in it anyways. I don't want uh, any little creepy crawlers inside the wall if there's anything to come back out here or whatever. I mean chances are there's nothing there but but I still like to to cover things up the best I can, okay? Remember that. Yeah, it's getting a little dark in here, but you know, I went ahead and cut this and now I'm gonna just set it back down in there. And these back clips, I just push and snap that back down. And like I say, not all of them are the same. That's just how these happen to be. And you remember this little deal here, I just cut it off and got that. But before I do that, I'm gonna take my little snazzy bracket here, line it up where it was before. like that and put the little goodie back in there right where it went because that's gonna that's gonna keep that up straight and I'm not gonna screw it remember I'm just gonna tap it in there because that did not have threads on it and now it's all about putting this end on and make sure that when you measure this that you allow a quarter inch this one's a quarter inch you don't want to cut that tight because then you won't be able to slip that up in there see so that's just going to go there like that I don't have to push up on that or anything you know maybe I, I will just a bit hardly anything and I'll put two little screws in there and that'll be it Hey, well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.